Hey guys. Today is a beautiful day. A day to be grateful, a day to be humbled, a day to just be in the moment. This beautiful scenery. You know, I've been wanting to come here for a while. I'm just taking it in. Taking it in. Can I take my shoes off? See the little fishes. Different shapes. This is what I'm doing for me today. I'm gonna sit down here for a bit. Be in a state of gratitude. Think of all the things that I have in my life to be grateful for. And just sit in the moment. Make space for myself. You know, meditation a lot of people have thought has been about getting out of our head. But in actuality, meditation is to get into our head and into our space. Do something for you today. Do something for yourself that fills your heart, fills your cup with joy. Find your solace, find your space. Find your gratitude. If you want to know more or learn more on gratitude, go check out the link for the brand new course, How to Implement Gratitude in Your Everyday Life. Love and light. My mom always sends me a robin. Hi, Mom. Come on. Hi, Mom. Can you look at me? If it's you, look at me. Come down here. I see you. Land on the grass. Come on. That's you, Mom.
So to go back to the energy of gratitude, we can cultivate more gratitude in our life by having gratitude for the things we already have. Material items really don't matter because the truth is when we leave this place, we're not gonna be able to take it with us. So cultivate that energy of release and letting go and bringing in the energy of receptiveness, of hearing and seeing all the beautiful things that we have around us. Right now I'm sitting on the grass surrounded by trees and birds and their sounds. I'm having gratitude for this moment. For this moment allows me to reflect. This moment allows me to just breathe and take it in and remember what's the most important thing in our life, life itself. So the next time you, you have a complaint or you begin to find yourself in a place of jealousy or anger or resentment or envious, instead, Add in to that situation, subtract out that negative energy and add in positivity. And remember, you're alive. You have clothes on your body. You have a warm bed to sleep in. You have food. You have amenities. You have nature. There's many things we can be grateful for if we only pause for a moment and reflect. Today I'm grateful for you. Today I'm grateful for this park. Today I'm grateful for the weather and for the feathers that were brought to me and the birds. Today I'm grateful for my life and where I am today. Today is a day of gratitude. Love it, live it, and breathe it. Namaste. Okay, guys, want to see gratitude? This is a hill, you walk to the top. We're about to see if I can do it. And you're coming with me. I'm not even wearing hiking shoes or climbing shoes. Even the slowest animal knows how important helmets is. Oh Lord, look at this, there's cactuses. I didn't even know we had cactuses. Look at that. So gratitude for life, gratitude for the ability to learn. Gratitude for pink rocks. And the ability to find random things. I'm having the clarity to be open to it.
you know, there's the bottom. That's where I started. And for someone that has, according to medical, 74 year old lungs, if I pace myself and I take the time and I reflect on just being in that moment, you know, take the breaks when I need to, absorb the scenery, get lost in that moment. When you can shift your mindset from attitude and disappointment and anger and sadness, there's this complete openness and a willingness to see the true, the true beauty, right? That's just my thoughts. See you in a minute. Part two. Am I struggling? Yeah. Is this hard? Absolutely. But will it be so incredibly exhilarating when I reach the top? Absolutely. Right? Look at that. You know, something as simple as sunflowers can just put a smile on your face. So, you know, over the next few weeks, you're going to see a lot of different posts about, about gratitude and how when we really take the time to implement it in our life, we can be filled with joy, love, acceptance, forgiveness, and appreciation, right? Appreciate those little things. If someone had said to me, you're gonna walk up a hill. I would have said, you're insane. But here I am doing the climb, climbing that mountain, knowing that every step of the way, I'm gonna have bumps, I'm gonna have curves, I'm gonna have lessons, and sometimes, even twists where you have to change direction, where you have to change course, where you have to shift. You know, all day today, I've been finding feathers, feathers, just random feathers, different colors different shapes, different sizes. But I'm filled with gratitude. I'm filled with the fact that we've almost made it to the top. We've climbed the mountain, the finish line is within view. Am I out of breath? Sure. You can hear it. But when I reach the top, then I rest and I reflect and I look at the bottom and see how far I've come. That's what our lives are about. That's what reflection is about. It's about reaching that top, reaching that goal, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And we made it. Caution, steep slope. But now look at this 
magnificent view. Look at that view. The river. Sometimes we have to climb to a higher view to see the higher perspective. And that, my friends, is a view I'm going to take a moment for. Love and light. That's where I started. finished with that view. We walked up, we jogged down. Raising that heart rate. Forward, look. Don't look back. Don't look to the side. Just keep moving forward. Even though I looked back. I thought I heard something drop. I think we have someone joining us. And if you need to stop, stop and walk. Take it all in. You've been in worse places. You've been in worse situations. You've overcome them all. So, have gratitude. Have gratitude. You know, gratitude changed my life. You know, two months, three months ago, I didn't have very much gratitude. I complained about everything, everyone, every situation. But I turned it, I shifted it. I went into a place of self-healing and self-loving and putting self-care above everything. And then I stepped into this power of gratitude and how one simple thing a day, one simple thing, glass of water, cup of coffee, you slept in, you got a raise, like one simple thing can just shift it and change it. So I encourage you to find gratitude, to live in those moments of gratitude, to remember your worth, to remember your value, to remember how loved you are. And I mean, I could say what I typically say, which is, you know, I'm here to remind you that if you don't feel loved, you are. If you don't feel worthy, you are. If you don't feel like you're enough, you are. But in all honesty, we don't need others to tell us that. We have to find that within ourselves, within our lives, to find those little moments that we can hold on to and just feel that, absorb that. God, I'm glowing. That was quite a climb. But I'll keep climbing that mountain and I want you to keep climbing it too. And I'll be there to encourage you along your way to inspire and empower and help you change. So if you're looking for a coach, if you want to be part of, if you want to take the new gratitude course that's self-paced and you do it, and every person that signs up for that gratitude course gets added into a private gratitude challenge from August till September where we're going to every day meet and every day spend time in gratitude. One little moment in time. One little moment in this big, huge universe. 
Take it in. Absorb it. Know your worth. Know your value. And know how loved you are. See you tomorrow.